Hello everybody and welcome to Spa for the second round of the Euro Formula Open Championship. A month ago in Estoril the wins were split between Jack Aitken and Leonardo Pulcini but who is going to triumph this weekend around one of the season highlights these legendary swoops through the Ardennes Mountains. Let's find out. It's glorious sunshine for the first race of the weekend at Spa. This was Leonardo Pulcini who was beaten to the first corner by Ferdinand Habsburg. The fast starting Habsburg though couldn't keep the lead down to Lecom as behind there was drama. Anthony Patat, one of several drivers to fall by the wayside in the early stages. Nikita's lob unfortunate to escape a horrendous accident at the top of Radion, testifying to the strength of the Lara F312 chassis. But after that poor first lap, Habsburg did fight back, moving clear of Tanar Sathian Thiracle into third position. At the front though, we were treated to a great scrap between Pulcini and Jack Aitken, a pair trading the lead of the race lap after lap. And Daniel Penenko was pushing just a little bit too hard through Pouin. Fortunately, he didn't lose too much ground. As late on, Habsburg gone to terms with and challenged Pulcini. It's no avail, however, as Jack Aitken came through to score his second victory of the season and a dominant win by the standards of the Euro Formula Open. Pulcini's solid second place consolidating his championship lead. Ferdinand Habsburg once more back on to the rostrum and also claiming rookie honours. Celebration time then for Aitken. And the same for Habsburg, top rookie clear of Colton Herter and Kevin Andres. It's a really hard race actually, I mean Leonardo had the uh, slipstream for most of the race and I just spent the whole time trying to break it in sector two. Uh, luckily we actually had the pace to manage to stay out of his reach so it was good fun, yeah. Perfect conditions today for a good fight and it's a second win uh, this season uh, so it's getting interesting. Huh? Yeah, you could say that, yeah, I mean uh, obviously Leonardo has been quick from the outset so it's good to have uh, that, that little battle going on but uh, Tomorrow's predicted rain, so it's going to be different again. We'll see uh, who comes out on top. After the sunny Saturday, it was changeable conditions for Sunday's race as once more Pulcini and Aitken were at the fore of the field. It's amazing, they all tiptoed through a very slippery Lassau's hairpin. First time around, a couple of spins further back, and Ahmed, the main victim, but otherwise, everybody in one piece. Equal Lilco can always be relied upon for some pretty ferocious dicing. And Sunday was no different. The Polish driver once more showing excellent car control. Colton Hurston had the start to the race that he wanted, then carved through the field very nicely, easing past Julio Moreno at mid race distance. Conditions changed on each and every lap, and the drivers were happy to find grip. And sometimes there was none as Wililko leapt over the curbs at the top of Radion, almost to repeat at the instant that took Nikita's lob in out of the previous day's race. Damiano Fiora Varanti just getting a little bit sideways in to Pouin and then RP Motorsport teammate Anthony Patak doing the job properly with Kandati Kassiri following him round into the rotation. It's another solid performance from Ferdinand Habsburg, the Austrian driver, doing very well with his DriveX machinery. Meanwhile, it was the turn of Leonardo Pulcini to score his second victory of the season. Holding off the challenge from Jack Aitken, it was a masterful drive from both drivers. who were well on top of the conditions. They're in for a thrilling fight as the season continues. Two wins apiece for Pulcini and Aitken. Once more, it was Habsburg who completed the podium. And that meant the Austrian driver was the top rookie. After a super weekend of racing in Spa, it's Pulcini who leads the standings from Jack Aitken. Aitken suffering from that race one collision Estrell. Habsburg in a solid third from Diego Menchaca and Damiano Fiavaranti, but there is still an awful lot of racing to come this season. Mm -hmm. 